Hi, I'm Dorcas. This video is about the WordPress navigation menu. So I'm logged into WordPress and um, to create the menu, you go to Appearance and Menus. Now it's very important to know that you have to create the pages before you add them into the menu. So you can't just start at the menu, you need to go to Pages and create your pages first and then add them into the menu. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about actually adding text to pages and naming pages and so on. So, in this video, in order to just add some pages into the menu, I'm just going to quickly create some pages. So, I'm going to make an About page. We're going to Pages, Add New. I'm going to just call this About Us. Some dummy text. Publish over on the right-hand side to save. I'm going to make another page. So this add new is the same as this add new here. And I'm going to click add new to add a contact page, which I will call contact us. And then this is how to contact us. Publish to save. And then I'm going to make another page called, um, let's say I'm going to call this guitar lessons. If I can type, that would be better. Okay, and then publish on the right hand side to save. So if I click all pages, you'll see all of the pages that I have there. Sample page is the default that was there before I installed or with the installation of WordPress. So I didn't create that page, but the other ones I did create. So I want to add these into the menu. So I go to appearance and then menus. And then you can see here, it's saying, give your menu a name, then click create menu. So the menu is just a the menu name, it's just a reference for yourself. Um, and it's best to call it something that makes sense for you later because while we're just making one menu now for the main navigation across the top of the website usually, um, you might later make a footer menu or a menu to go on the sidebar when you start thinking about widgets. So now I'm gonna call this main navigation. And then I can click create menu. You can see there's two buttons there. And it doesn't matter which one you click, just click one of them. Then to add pages into the menu, I just select the little tick before the name of the page here. And then you can see how I can select, for example, one at a time. Or I can select multiple ones at a time. And you can see um, how I can drag around the order. So for example, home should always be first, that's good. Contact us should be last. I want about us to be second in the menu. So you can see how it's easy just to drag around the order like this. If I, for example, add in a page twice by accident, then I can simply just click the down arrow and then click remove and it's gone. If I want to see how this menu appears, I would save the menu and then get into the habit of always checking your website to see how it actually looks. So I'm gonna right click or sorry, hover over Guitar Heaven, hover over Visit Size, right click then, open new tab. Here's my preview. You can see I've made a menu, but it doesn't actually appear. So you're missing something. So underneath display location, you have to select something here. These options here are theme specific. So it depends on your theme, um, what actual options you have here. It could be called top menu, primary menu, main menu. There's different ways they could name the menus. I'm going to click top menu because that looks like an intelligent thing to select. I'm going to click save menu and then go to my preview and refresh and check. And you can see here my menu has appeared. If I want to add a drop down menu, then I'm going to first make some pages that I can add into the drop down menu. So I'm going to go to pages and let's say, for example, we do um, three different types of guitar lessons. So I'm going to click add new. So let's say, for example, we do acoustic guitar lessons. And let's just throw that text there. And now I'm going to make another page for, let's say we do electric guitar lessons. And publish over on the right hand sides. And now we're going to make another page called, let's say, Spanish Guitar Lessons. So when I've made those three pages, now I can add them to the menu. And if I go to Appearance and Menus, you can see how I can click 
the three of them click add to menu the default is that they'll appear here down the bottom now if I just save my menu like this just to show you how it looks on my preview you can see they'll appear here now I don't want them to be in the main menu I want them as a drop down from guitar lessons so to do that it's really easy you just select each one and then drag it underneath guitar lessons but over a bit so you can see there's actually kind of a dashed line there that shows you where I can drop it so I just let go and then I just need to make that sure that the others are underneath guitar lessons and in line with the other um, lessons so here you can see these three are going to be in one drop down from guitar lessons so I'm going to click save menu check my preview so I refresh F5 on your keyboard is refreshed or else you can see I'm clicking this little curly arrow here. And you can see my drop down menu here has appeared underneath the guitar lessons. You can see there are the three links to those pages. So let's say, for example, I want to change the text in my menu, but I don't want to change the text that's actually on, on the heading of the page. So, for example, when I make my page, the name of the page or the title, which is actually the heading one within HTML, is here. So that's guitar lessons. And the default, because of what I did in the previous video, the link also matches, or the URL or the link, whatever you want to call it, also matches the H1, which also matches the label within the navigation. But if I want to change the navigation label, but not change this or not change this, then I do that in menus. So still in appearance and menus. You can see, for example, in the drop down here, I can click the little um, arrow to open it up and where it says navigation la label I can just change this to be whatever I want so for example maybe I just want this to say lessons and maybe I want it instead of about us I want it just to say about so I'm going to get rid of the us close that up and maybe the same thing with contacts to keep things uniform and then if I save the menu and refresh you'll see that about us and contact us will change to about and contact and guitar lessons should change to lessons but you can see how for example when i click on contacts it still says contact us in the heading when i click on lessons it still says guitar lessons in the heading so we've just changed the label in the actual navigation one little extra thing so this is a bit advanced but if you want to add in a title and a title in html is the text that you see when you hover over the menu you can click it by first of all hit the little down arrow after each one and if you don't see an option here to type out the title then scroll up the very top of the screen and over on the top right hand side you'll see screen options click the arrow to open that up and then select title attribute so i'm just ticking the box before title attribute close up screen options now scroll down and you'll see there's an extra field here under each one of your um, items in the menu called title attributes and I'm just going to set um, the title attribute here so I'm going to say for example um, home page of guitar heaven and let's just um, click for example lessons I'm going to say view our um, huge yeah, huge range of guitar lessons and I'm going to click Save Menu and then go to my preview and refresh so that, so that you can see what actually happens. So the title is the text that you see when you hover over something. So I'm going to hover over Home and you'll see the title, that text has appeared there. When I hover over Lessons, you'll see that little box that appears there. The title appears there. So the title isn't hugely important. Um, as in, for example, if you're on a touch screen, you'll never see the title. But remember, Google sees everything, so it's good to get your SEO terms in there. And some people will see the title, so there's no harm in um, adding in the extra title like that. So that's the end of this video. The next video will be about creating pages and customizing the pages and adding in links. So if you want to know more about WordPress, look in the links below this video and check out the next one. Thank you. <laughs>